Hey everyone, this is Judy from Happy Holistic and if you've been following my channel, you would be aware that not too long ago I had a flare up of eczema. Here's what it looked like at the time. Not bad, but occasionally it would get really itchy, I would scratch it and it would turn all red and inflamed again. It's been almost a month and I thought I'd do a quick update for you just to give you a sense of the timeline we're working with. So this is what it looks like today. Not sure if you're able to tell through video, but there's still some slight discoloration, but the patches are returning to more of a skin color and it's not really itchy. I can also feel that the skin is less rough and it's starting to really go away. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison in similar lighting. Like I said, it took about a month to get here, so it's definitely not a quick process, even for a tiny ass patch like what I've got. I am well aware that many people have a worse case of eczema than I do, including an older version of myself. So my message is this, regardless of which natural healing methods you're trying, try it for a long enough period of time to determine whether it actually works or not. If I had given up after a couple of days, I would have missed out on some effective treatment due to impatience. It works, it's just a little slower than what you might be accustomed to. Because this was such a small flare-up, I decided I didn't want to bother with adjusting my nutrition and really I just started wearing gloves again to wash the dishes and the problem seemed to resolve itself. Sometimes the simplest solutions are what works. So I would say pay attention to everything that comes into contact with your body. For example, body care products, cleansers, you also want to be paying attention to what you're feeding your body with. So for example, people with latex allergies can also have an adverse reaction to avocados, a seemingly healthy food. Now I'm not necessarily saying constant vigilance, but you do want to be paying attention to potential triggers in your environment. That's all I have for you for this week. I am going on vacation soon, so if you don't see me next week or the week after, please forgive me. I will try to get up two videos for you, but that might not happen because my cousins and I haven't really planned our trips. So I will see you when I see you.